Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome to the channel. If you're new, be sure to subscribe. We're going to be going over the the side stories and what characters I would recommend for you guys to go for if you guys are interested in going for those side story units and maybe possibly summoning for them in the future when there's downtime like this. Obviously, don't do it now. We do know that we have a custom banner in the way and potentially a collab, but, you know, whenever there's the next downtime period and you have a lot of extra bookmarks, you can consider going for one of the side story characters. So we're gonna go ahead and pull up the roster here. Um, you just go to the side story. I'll show you how they get there in a minute. And you have access to all of these heroes that are summonable uh, for your account. Um, we'll talk about which ones I would recommend going for. Maybe it's just for materials for other characters. But I, that's kind of what I've been doing is going for like materials, making them as like a side farmer outside of the AP farm in the uh, unrecorded history. And also just in general, good characters that you go for if you are interested in picking them up for your accounts. Uh, so here's the ones that I went for. I have, I think my first one was um, Selene, just because I was prepping to get Secret Art Sword Storm and Selene dupes for my Spirit Eye Selene. And then I went into, I think, Lua, because Lua's got a very good, good artifact that I do want in the future. And then I went for Hawaii Young, because if they ever do decide to buff her in the future, or if I just decide to get her in the future, um, you know, I want to have access to her. Then I went Destina, because Destina is technically the best Soul Reaver in the game. And then for me, since I don't have him, I went Violet, because I didn't really know what else to go for. And I was like, never know when a Violet could come in handy. If I ever decide to summon for a Violet, I have a way to get him. There are many other characters in this pool of, uh, in this pool. Uh, we'll talk about which ones would be really good to think about for you to go for. Uh, so make sure you guys subscribe and let's go ahead and head towards the side stories, which I think is actually in the book. Side story. Yeah. So uh, side story list. Um, oops. Uh, currently right now, my side story is Violet. I have them up right now, uh, but you can change this whenever... Uh, your days are up. I forgot how many more days I have until I can change. I have three more days until I can change, so I won't be able to access it from here, sadly. Um, but you'll, whenever your days are free, you'll have access to oops, the full side story. You saw nothing. Uh, like page, and there'll be like multiple episodes, and you can pick a character from an episode. And then whenever you do pick the character, you go on cooldown for like maybe a week or two uh, for you to complete the side story. It does seem like it does get extended the more and more you go back into it, so it can get a little bit longer. But I don't think it goes over 14 days. I think it just stays at 14 at max. I could be wrong though. I have I haven't really been paying attention too much. So since we can't go to the episodes on the side, I'll talk about them from this page since it'll be pretty simplistic and easy to spot. So we're going to go ahead and talk about you know, good units in general for overall uh, your account just to have. And one of those units will be where May. Um, where are you? The Hawk. I think Zahawk's a great option for any player. He can be played in standard, he can be played in aggro, he can be played in cleave. The reason why this guy is so valuable is because even if you don't use him in RTA, you can use him in Guild, v, uh, Guild Wars and use him to be the unit that can snipe evasion units. I think having him just brings high value on your account. He does have hit rate in his kit. You can also throw the Guild War or the Guild artifact on him that makes him where he's able to hit which is symbol of unity and give him 100 percent hit chance on his s3 he's also able to buff you up and cleanse you with his s2 he has access to a art um, exclusive equipment that can help him out with his damage and also utility overall the hawk's a great option for your account if you don't have him and i would highly recommend if you don't get have him think about getting him in the future and don't waste your custom um, banner summons on this guy since he's already accessible from the side stories. The next unit that I'm going to recommend uh, you guys to go for is going to be uh, Eula. Eula. Eula is a really good tank. She's fallen down a little bit, not being seen as much. But once again, if you are new to the game, having access to multiple tanks as a standard player or a turn two player is going to help you bury your roster and your drafting in general. Uh, I do think Arwell is overall better, but once again, she's an ML4 unit that, or ML3 unit that you may not pull for a while, and you might need something that, you know, can tank for you. This unit is pretty much a free nuke button as long as you build her properly. You pop her S3 whenever she gets low, and she'll insta-kill someone for free for you. 
Also on top of that, she does have a provoke, a uh, redirected provoke, which is going to be very helpful for just controlling the field. And on top of that, she's just a good tank in general. When it comes to our artifact, I don't think you need it. I don't think that you, you would need this at all. Um, I think you can slap like an, something else on her, like an Arius, and you'll be good to go since her, her role when you draft her is to perform the tank role. So uh, Eula is another good one that you may want to consider on your accounts. Uh, we'll go over to Arya. Arya has risen in popularity and is actually quite good. I wish I could build mine. Now, if you are newer to the game, she is quite hard to build because the stats that she requires are ri quite ridiculous. She needs a lot of effect resistance. She needs a lot of defense. On top of that, she needs crit stats. Um, so she can be pretty challenging to build. There are ways around this. You can slap Bastion of Hope on her and just give her enough ER to just um, be usable. You do, need a, you do need a, at least 2,000 defense on her, uh, though you could probably get a wave 1850 just to start her on, but ideally you do want to hit over 2,000 defense while having enough health to survive. Her role is to protect your team while not being a tank mitigator, but being a uh, dispel-styled unit with their S3 able to dispel whenever you do um, pop. Well, not her S3, it's her, whenever you do the full S3 and you attack, you can dispel two buffs after she gets hit twice after you pop her S3. Um, also, you know, she is a counter unit, so she can be pretty helpful. She does hit quite hard. You slap her in life steal with that ER set, and you can actually solo teams with her in the right situation if you do draft her. She's also quite well in PvE. Uh, I've used her early on in PvE content and even in, like, later PvE content. She's just an overall really good unit to have on your account because, um, she can be very good in most drafts as long as you draft her in that third or fourth slot and it allows for it just be careful units like violet and uh units that can strip you like tehu but for the most part other than that she's really solid as a pick for your count so we went over zahawk we went over aria we went over eula we haven't gone over any soul reavers we're going to go ahead and talk about soul reavers i think destina is technically the best reaver in the game so therefore making her an automatic good pick for you if you didn't re-roll your count earlier on um, and get her already. If you don't have Destina and you do need a Destina, this is the one time that I'll say picking her up as soon as possible may really benefit your account if you're trying to be a turn two player going into real time arena. Um, she's just the staple pick next to Maid Chloe in most situations for being your healer and cleanser. Um, once again, she does need a lot of effect resistance and. Uh, Pretty solid gear to make her work. She wants as close to 200% effect resistance as you can get her. And a lot of health on top of that with defense. But her stats are pretty good. So you should be able to get her naturally high defense and health on her own. On top of that, her if, if, in print, if you do you know, manage to pull more copies, it's going to give you more effect resistance, making it a little bit easier to use her overall. So the more dupes you get her, the easier she'll be to draft for your team. The more dupes you can get, the safer you'll be from units like Zeo and like anything that might be able to threaten you with a, a strip or a uh, debuff. Uh, what other good ones are in here? Uh, because like now we're getting to the like situational picks. Lilius did get a buff and she's actually quite good. Um, if you do want to go for Lilius, she is relatively powerful. There are many multiple builds that you can build on her. I've seen uh, slower effect in this build, so that way you can get the provoke off. I've seen faster builds, that way she can work with Cavill. I think she's a very flexible unit with how you can build her. So getting her would be good. I just don't know how easy it is to build her because I have yet to build her myself. But for the most part, she doesn't have to be the fastest. So you can build her slower, more health, more defense, and a little effectiveness on her to make it to where her job is to provoke an enemy and set you up after they use a not attack skill. So Lilius is also really good right now. You can consider going for her side story. Uh, I, I guess I might as well let the rat out of the bag. Shu, if you do not have Shu, if you want a free win, uh, win on defense on Guild Wars, if you want to go full RNG, you go with Shu and you go with Senya. These two together on the Guild Wars defenses are actually havoc and really hard to go against if you don't have the answers for them. Uh, and even in PvP, Shu is a monster because of the uh, fush mechanic. Fushing makes it to where you get penetration uh, whenever... You, you can do you can push off a counter you can push off an attack it's really broken whenever you start spamming with this um just by chance uh shoe is something that i would recommend going for on top of that getting snow crystal for your account might be quite helpful especially if you want to be a person that uses uh holiday infant in the future snow crystal might be really good for you to help you stay alive on your holiday infant so over, overall you have a lot of value on shoe herself 
Same thing with Senya. Senya is another annoying unit that you can put on Guild Wars defense or even draft an RTA. You do want to max out her new spear of the new Dawn though if you go for her. This is her best slot artifact. You might as well go for the max to make it 100% chance to inflict that additional damage. Relatively easy to build. Use high attack, high bulk, and uh, you can either go with effect resistance or effectiveness depending on how you want to play her. For the most part, really accessible and there's a lot of gear for you to put on her. I think the necklace and the ring from the PvP shop can be put on her if they roll correctly, so you can do that as well. Um, who else? Mm, I guess. Uh, we have Tamarin too. I think everyone did like back. Like if this was like maybe uh seven months ago, maybe even less everyone would tell you to have tamarin on your account because of the value she brings from pve and she still brings that pve value but i don't think she's as necessary as, as she once was obviously getting her is still very helpful she's really easy to build you just go uh you just go max hp on every side on her with the set so two piece two piece two piece and she's pretty much done built uh she can also wear a flat hp ring which makes it maybe a little more easier for you to build her if you actually pull a lot of those uh this unit is really good in um most pve content that isn't hunts i think she can be used in one hunt but i i, I don't remember if it's golem or not is it golem it might be golem whatever the uh green one is you uh, technically i think you could use her there i think uh she's overall very solid her artifact not so great but once again you don't have to powder for this uh, if you just get one copy of her get her level like get her leveled up uh you don't need to spend any bowl on her she's mola free unit except for this you do want the one turn cooldown on her shining star outside of that you don't really need mola anywhere in her it's not necessary uh and she'll be good to go you can use her in pretty much any pve content that's not really hunt related and maybe not even expo related so if you need a another good soul reaver just for pve content I would recommend Tamarin. And I think that's almost everyone that I would recommend. Because now we're getting to the situations where it depends. For example, if you have Zeo on your account and you want to just cheese PvP uh, or RTA, you could go for Yunfin. Yunfin with Zeo is an insta win in like most cases if you draft her correctly. On top of that, she can still one shot Banshee. So if you build her up properly, you could build a Banshee build. But I will not recommend her for you because one, you can get her off the season two selective summon i think it is whenever you beat the chapter three you have access to get this unit i'm pretty sure uh what other unit is unit you could get but isn't really necessary for your account uh vivian you get her for free so it's not necessary shoot um rowana might be pretty good if you don't have her she's out right now but i wouldn't recommend summoning on her right now mainly because we have a you know custom banner on the way uh, we have Alencia that's pretty solid. I know a lot of people like her. Like, honestly, any one of these units right here, Alencia, Shu, and Senya, are great choices for your account for RTA and P Guild Wars. Just all very solid units, and some of them even more OP. Uh, and I think that's pretty much everyone. Uh, now, if you're trying to be a cleaver, obviously you have access to Ran and Piera, but that's if you're really trying to cleave. These units are pretty much PvE units only, or PvP units only that are played at high levels of RTA. So I wouldn't go for him unless you can hit that 300 speed personally. And I think that's everything in here that is worth talking about. Um, everyone else is kind of like depends on if you need the character for anything, uh, for anything at all. Like maybe you need Vildred dupes to get triple S for your speed imprint. If you're willing, sure. But if you're not willing, I wouldn't recommend it. Kisei is very good, but you do need a mid with her. I wouldn't recommend her without a mid. And, of course, Lua is very powerful. I didn't mean to skip her, but she's very powerful for PvP. The, one of the strongest openers. And Violet's obviously a good answer for, you know, going into mono blue teams on Guild Wars or just PvP. If they start locking blue units down, really awesome unit. So that's pretty much going to cover it for this one. I hope I covered every unit that you could be going for from the side stories. Uh, I didn't want to take too long to make this video, but sometimes I wanted to, you know, give my opinions on every one of the characters in here that are good. Let me know if I miss any in the comments below and yeah, which ones you went for first and which ones you plan on going for in the future. And I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.